Hello there. Today we're going to be talking about field tuning. So field tuning back in the old days used to require you carrying a laptop around and plugging that into your mini quad, um, which was a pain because carrying a laptop is not the easiest thing in the world to, to do and you need a backpack and various other bits and pieces to carry that around with you. Nowadays with Betaflight OSD you can change quite a few settings. Um, you can't change the full set though, so there are some limitations to that, but you can do quite a lot. Um, there are some Android apps, sorry I, I don't know about iPhones, I don't tend to use them, um, Android apps that you can use to change settings and today we're going to look at two of those. They are SpeedyBee and EasyGUI. But before we start let's just check what we need to do to, to demonstrate all this. So we obviously need mini quad, you need a mobile phone and you need a way of connecting them. Now if you've seen my video for the Esheen ROT G02 you get in there a little cable. Now my phone is a OnePlus 5. Um, it's a nice little phone, it does the job. Um, it has a USB-C connector, if you can see it, and my mini quad has a micro USB connector. So what I need to do is be able to get this together. So if I plug my phone in one end and I plug my mini quad in the other end, nothing happens. Now if I open up my mini uh, my phone and I turn on my OTG settings, um, OTG is on the go settings. Um, some phones have it on automatically, some phones don't. Um, my one I had to turn it on, uh, put a setting on here to turn it on. You can Google that and find the information about how to do that. If I turn that on, suddenly my flight controller fires up. So I can now pick which application I want to use. Let's start with EasyGUI. Now EasyGUI Ground Station, this application here, can be found on the App Store as usual. Um, it, I believe, has a free version and I think you have a pay for version that gives you more functionality. But if I open that up and I hit it does some um, settings around telling you whether you're safe to fly where you are, the German wind speeds and nice bits like that, so that's okay. And I'm just going to ask it to connect. So it's now connected to... And you have a lady who talks to you. Um, so you can go in here and see what your current state of your mini quad is and various bits and pieces around that. If I now go back, I can start flicking through and saying, well, how are my motor's doing? Well, I've, I haven't got a battery plugged in, so no issues there. I can look at the graphs and see what, if I move things around, what's going on there. But if I want to change my settings, I can adjust my PIDs. I can, I think actually there's filters in there. No, filters is not in there. Um, I can adjust my modes and I can adjust my ports. Um, so there's quite a lot of, oh and I can also do CLI if I need to. So there's quite a lot in there. Um, it's a nice little tool. Um, I've had it for quite some time. Sorry. Um, shush. So I used this about a year and a half ago. It's a nice little tool. Apologies, it gets quite frustrating because it's trying to be quite a lot of things. Um, and it's quite a nice little tool. I, I, I do like it. But for me, it doesn't feel like going into bead flight. Um, it feels like I'm sort of doing something else and it doesn't feel quite as native and easy for me to use. So, what we're going to look at now is Speedy Bee, which is, I think, relatively new. So this can be found again on the App Store. And I like Speedy Bee because it's, it's, it is really simple. It's just like working through... Um, uh, through your configurator. So I now connect. It wants to know which drivers I'm going to use. There we go. And now we're into um, Speedy Bee. Now Speedy Bee works on Beta Flight and Clean Flight. I don't know if it works on Butterfly. I haven't tested it. I don't have anything to, on Butterfly to test it out with. But what you're seeing here is something that's much more familiar, something that's much more like what you're expecting when you're doing um, things on, on your beta flight configurator. So you can still see your usual displays, you can see the standard voltages, if I had GPS you can see that. And the, the menu is pretty much the same thing. So you can 
waiting. You can adjust your settings, you can adjust pretty much any single element that's on Betaflight, you can adjust on here. Now, I'm not going to go into every single one because that's pretty pointless. Now, the one for me that I think is just a really good little thing to be able to adjust is the OSD, which is here. Now, the OSD is just really straightforward. It is just like using your computer. So you can turn things on and off. Oh, just moved something out of the way. So I can move things around from my mobile phone into the right position. So for me, oop, there we go. I can move everything. It is really, really simple. So I'm not going to go through too much more detail about what this can do, but I was really impressed with it and I thought I'd make a really short video just to talk about it and say, go and get this because this, if you get the cable, becomes incredibly straightforward for you to go and do configurations of the field. In fact, last weekend, um, one of the guys I was with was totally tuning a quad from this. You can do filters, you can do everything. So while I like Easy GUI, I quite like I prefer this. It's a really nice product. Um, anyway, hope you enjoy it. I'll see you all next time.